All right, George in Florida, I got your new Washington here. So uh, it's upside down, but that's your radio right there. And a couple different things I see with this one. Number one, it's got a sticker on the front. I'm assuming when you lift that, maybe that helps remove the whole front protector. I'm going to leave it on there, though, because it doesn't really get in the way of what I need to do to it. And I've already done everything to the radio. So um, it's on the dummy load. One other thing to mention. So we, kinda, yeah, we can hear it. Uh, watch what happens when I use the span. Notice how it's changing, but we're not losing any sound. I don't know if the Washington's, anyone else that has a Washington, does yours do this? I don't remember if they did or didn't, but uh, I did notice it on this one, so I don't have any other ones here to check. So, well, the other one I have, I checked, and it was the same way, so. Did they make improvements? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. So there's no muting. If you don't use the span, so let's see, I bet you it will mute. So we can kind of show what that is. So span off. Yeah, now it's the 10KC cycle. There's a pause in between, that's normal. So definitely good for amateur radio use to have that feature there where it's not muting. Um, you either like it or you don't, I guess, but I really like it where I can just hear the continuous static as I'm tuning through the bands. So this is our sideband power. Um, again, it's about an 80 watt radio. So I do clean up the performance quite a bit on these as well. So, you know, seeing anywhere from 60 to mid 70s is about normal for this radio. We're not trying to hot rod it or hot dog it or make it do something that it wasn't designed to do in the first place so there's no sense in doing that you know you want good output clean output you don't want to you know go out there and just cause a bunch of interference on the frequencies and stuff and on this one i have your carrier on high power am about 18 watts so at 18 watts with uh, just a normal tone of voice into the microphone um, you know, it's somewhere in the mid 60s, somewhere sometimes 70. So it uh, definitely still talks well. It's super clean. Um, I forgot to show you what it looked like here on the sideband. We'll go back to that here in a minute. But um, you know, this is probably out of the newer radios that have this new board inside that gives it a a more higher power capability. This is probably the cleanest one out of all of them for the transmission so that's that's good you know it makes me like this one a whole lot more and uh, i really like the, the design of how this radio looks on the front um i think it just looks really good so it's a really cool looking radio i prefer the orange but you know others might have a favorite color i just like the orange so um let's go back to sideband on it upper side band of course i'm on the dummy load so i could just sit here and do this all day it really wouldn't matter but uh that's what it's doing there on the dummy load so it looks good there too um i'll just go through this really quick and whoops i'm hitting the wrong button this one i'm going to turn that span back on so i can cycle through the band quicker go up here It's close enough, so okay. On 10 meter, oh, I guess it would matter if I did this two, two, eight, three, eight, eight, five. So, on 10 meter, you know, the power output you can see it on the spectrum analyzer, or you can see it on the power meter, it's about the same. It's in the mid to high 70s at times, which is about right. And AM doesn't really matter here, so no one's going to use AM there, anyways. Let's be realistic about it. 12 meter. Somewhere in there. 12 meter it does about the same power there too, so we're not really dropping off on any of the bands or anything. It does pretty much the same power all the way through the radio. And um, oh, 
24965. I keep forgetting. I wish this thing had like auto sense. That'd be awesome. If it could just sense the RF and automatically switch to where I'm at. Um, that would be the one thing, man. Uh, that would make this thing just even better than what it already is. But there it is on uh, there it is on upper side van on 12 meters. So it looks good there too. And I just made a contact a little while ago to a guy in California on the Mosley, which is only like five to seven feet off the ground. And I was a five and nine, so you know it's a little warm, not too bad. Easily you can put your fans on, just pop the bottom lid off plug them in and just screw them in to your back and you'll be all set so hope you enjoy this one George um, and hopefully this one will work better for you than the last one so they did replace this one for him under warranty it was sent to me to set back up for him and I did that and now it's going back to the owner so this was a brand new radio that was sent to me for the warranty so they do take care of their customers under warranty it's a it's a good thing you know it's good sometimes to have that support here in the u.s that you know some companies may offer a warranty but i don't think they're going to go as far as what president does for their customers so i think president does a really good job with the warranty support and um you know they're one of the best ones all right 73 we'll catch everybody later